And I've heard um, Gregory Nye uh, mm -hmm. talk about um, low sulfur diets. Uh, and he said he had um, yes. spoken to you, you know, what, what's going on where we can't tolerate sulfur or some, some people um, have abhorrent sulfur metabolism. Right. And so that's really interesting. Cause I had people, I, when I was, I started and I, you know, in the early days I was saying, Oh, you got to eat a high sulfur diet. And I was kind of broadcasting that message and I would get email from people. I can't eat sulfur. You know, mm -hmm. I can't eat garlic. They're like, I get sick. And so I, that made me step back and think, Oh my God, what's going on there. You know? So it was something that I learned about early on. There were people who had sulfur sensitivities and I started reading about it and I found out about, for example, sulfite oxidase. Sulfite oxidase is a very important enzyme in the gut that uh, converts sulfite into sulfate. And sulfite oxidase, I suspect, is one of those enzymes that's getting disrupted by glyphosate. And um, so then the sulfite, if, if sulfite oxidase isn't working, sulfite becomes uh, very toxic because it's highly reactive and sulfate becomes deficient. And this is happening in the gut. Um, and so I, um, there's a, I guess in my, in my book, I write about the various enzymes, the, even the enzyme that activates the sulfate, for example, it turns sulfate into something called PAPS, phosphoadenosyl phosphosulfate, I think, PAPS. It's a PAPS synthase enzyme. And that enzyme has critical um, glycine dependencies. You know, there's a, there's a glycine mo motif that fits extremely well with my glyphosate susceptibility model. And so I'm suspecting it, it binds to ATP molecules and proteins that bind to ATP molecules have this sequence of so GXG, XXG motif that I suspect is highly sensitive to glyphosate. Also, they have the, you know, the, the, I have the complicated story about this negative charge. You've read about it in the book, but PAP synthase matches it very well. And PAP synthase is essential for converting sulfate into an activated form of sulfate. It's kind of a blend of an ATP molecule with sulfate. It binds to two ATP molecules and uses one of them for energy and uses the other one as a substrate to make PAPs. So it's going to consume two ATP molecules, but it has tremendous potential, I think, for glyphosate disruption because of that. And, um, and if PAP synthase can't work, then everything that involves moving sulfate from one molecule to another is broken because it, it, sulfate doesn't move unless it gets converted into this activated form of sulfate. That's the only way you can actually transfer it to, um, to another molecule. So to, to take a sulfate off of cholesterol and put it onto heparin to make heparin sulfate, you can't do that without PEPS synthase. 